In this video, I'll help prevent your emails from landing in your customers' spam folders. Stop receiving emails from your website in your spam folder. And lastly, prevent your site from sending out spam emails in the future. We've built multiple successful website plugins and handled more than a million sites in the last 10 years. And we're going to share all of our insights with you. So hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on our weekly videos. Prevent your emails to customers from landing in their spam folders. If your emails are landing in the spam folders of customers, the first thing to do is to scan your website for malware and remove any that you find. If there's no malware or your emails are still landing in spam after cleaning the malware, then here are three common reasons and their fixes. Now one, there is a chance that you're sending emails that trigger spam filters. Certain keywords like free or now tend to trip these filters. If the from info doesn't match the return path, that can also cause emails to land in spam folders. We've also seen emails with different top level domains also face this issue. You can check the spam score of your emails at this website to figure out what the issue is and to solve that. Some general advice that I can give you here is that always use good practice for your emails, such as opt-ins early, stay clear of spam keywords and so on. Avoid purchase lists like the plague and scrub your list regularly by keeping a hawk's eye view on the engagement metrics and bounce rate. Number two, you may have incorrect DNS settings. Your email can get bounced between servers depending on how the email is configured. This can trigger a spam filter because it can look like someone is using your domain to send out spam emails. Practice known as spoofing. The fix is to correctly configure DNS records to assure the spam filters that the email is definitely coming from your domain. I'll add a link either above or in the description below to help you with this. Number three, there are chances that your email server is on a blacklist somewhere because of previous missteps or perhaps because of someone else who's using the same server for emails. Maybe they hit a spam trap and the server got blacklisted as a result. The way you solve this is that you figure out which blacklist your server is on and request removal. You can use any of these free online tools in your browser and enter your IP address to check for blacklists. If your site shows up on any blacklist, you will need to contact that particular online service and request for blacklist removal. Now, if none of the solutions above help, I'll add a link in the description for an excellent troubleshooting guide that will help you fix this. How to stop receiving emails from your website in your spam folder. Spam entries received from your website contact form are not caused by malware. There are two easy ways you can mitigate the issue. Number one, add a CAPTCHA to an open contact form. Number two, install the Akismet plugin to filter out spam emails. The only caveat here is that no matter what step you take, your email services spam filters can sometimes flag legit queries by mistake. So it's always good to check the spam folder from time to time. How to prevent your site from sending out spam emails in future. After you fix the issue of your website sending out spam emails to customers, it's time for the final step. I'll show you three easy steps to protect your site so that you don't have to deal with this issue again. Number one, install a good security plugin with an integrated firewall. As you know, we've built multiple successful WordPress plugins over the last 10 years. In this time, we have seen malware mutate and become more and more clever about hacking into websites. Your website security needs to be updated constantly to keep out attacks successfully. A good security plugin will scan your website daily to check for malware, backdoors, and vulnerabilities. It should have an integrated firewall to keep out bot attacks and prevent brute force long in attempts. And finally, it should have an easy way to clean the malware of the website quickly. We built Malcare to solve this because the existing solutions weren't good enough. It has a free firewall and scanner, which is a great step for security. You can find the link in the description. I'll also add a video above comparing the four main security plugins in case you want to know more about this before you install the plugin. Number two, update everything regularly. If your website has old versions of WordPress or plugins and themes, then you need to update them as soon as possible. Developers release security patches in their updates, often to address vulnerabilities. For instance, WP Mail SMTP had an XSS vulnerability and Easy WP SMTP had an admin reset vulnerability. Both of these were patched in subsequent versions, but all of those people who did not update the plugins suffered huge losses. It can be tricky to update WordPress websites because of how interconnected everything is. Updates have been known to break the UI or design and sometimes even take the website offline. Therefore, it is always best to test updates on a staging site first after taking a backup. You can try Blogworld for that because it lets you take bulletproof backups and create a staging site with a single click for free. After you've checked that the updates don't have any unexpected effects, you can then merge the changes that you've made to your staging site with your live site with a single click. Number three, implement a user account policy. It is good practice to review user accounts ever so often, especially with large sites. As people leave and join website management teams, their user accounts lie unused but with the same level of privileges as before. This is a serious security hazard because passwords are not updated regularly and those accounts can be compromised. So it's best to delete inactive accounts. Also, make it a policy that everyone changes their passwords after every few months. Strong passwords prevent unauthorized access. But 
but since they are difficult to remember, we recommend using password managers like this. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere or if you want a particular video for fixing a WordPress issue or improving your site's performance. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button because that really motivates us to make more such videos. That's all for today. This is Julian, friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week. Thank you.